Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to go click quickly through this uh, Shiny App app that we have developed uh, to observe copy number variation versus gene expression. Um, I'm going to go through the interactivity that this application offers, uh, the visualizations and insights that you can get from the information that is provided. Uh, something about the project is, uh, well, we, we know that copy number variations are DNA segments that can lead to the activation of oncogenes or inactivation of tumor suppressor genes in cancer. And uh, CNVs can effectively affect the gene expression and are related to the susceptibility of diseases. So uh, some studies have shown that uh, when there is a duplication or deletion of CNVs, they actually affect gene expression and, um, and cancer-related biological uh, processes. So this is why it's important to have uh, this type of visualizations to easily correlate what happens between between those, those two. It has been found in multiple studies that CNB, as I just mentioned, is heavily correlated to the gene expression. Uh, the dataset that we're using is the DEPMAP Public 23Q2 dataset from the DEPMAP project. And um, this contains data from the CRISPR knockout screens from the project Achilles as well as genomic characterization data from the CCLE project. And the goal of the dependency map or depth map portal is to empower the research community to make discoveries related to cancer vulnerabilities. So let's go quickly through the how to guide. Um, as I mentioned, you can quickly filter by, uh, by genes. We have four genes and five stratification group options. Uh, we are going to see uh, some box plots and um, the copy number variation is uh, refers to the number of copies of a particular gene or DNA sequence present in an individual genome. Uh, it is abbreviated as CNV and uh, it refers to a circumstance in which the number of copies of a specific segment of the DNA varies among uh, different individual genomes. And gene expression uh, is measured in transcript, transcripts per million, TPM, and is a process by which the information encoded in a gene is, is turned into a function or, let's say, a protein. Uh, this occurs via the transcription of RNA molecules uh, that encode proteins or non-coding RNA molecules that serve other functions. And here is just an example of the bo box plot that you will see. As I mentioned, uh, you will observe one of the main uh, visualizations of the, this app, app is um, the plotting of the copy number variation log to CN, CN versus uh, expression plot uh, in t transcript per million. And it is uh, this plot of copy number vers versus expression signifies the relationship uh, between gene copy number and gene expression levels. So it is a, a visual representation that plots uh, these two. For example, it will be plotting the copy number of a gene on the x, x axis and the corresponding gene expression on the y axis. <clears throat> and we have two ways to visualize this. One of, the, one of the, those is the scatter plot and the other one is the 2D density plot. So what about uh, interactivity? Well, I'm gonna show you how to, how to manipulate uh, and play with the data that you can uh, you will see on later on um, and here are some of the tools and some of the other R packages and framework that we use to develop to develop this application so just let's just uh, go ahead and, uh, and explore the app so as you can see at the top um, you can select the four genes that we have so BRAF, KCNK10 MBRAS, QRS1, um, mainly MBRAS and um, BRAF gene have been heavily correlated with, uh, with cancer. Uh, for example, the BRAF gene is, um, uh, it's, it's found in around 5% of, of multiple cancers. Um, so obviously what happens is that uh, there can occur some mutations on, on, these, um, on these genes and then there will be the activation, for example, of a protein that should not be uh, activated all the time, etc. So th that's that's what can happen. And um, in this application, you can explore, um, for example, here when we select the MBRAS gene, uh, let's say 
various sample collection site, you will observe all the, the plots for each of those. Uh, in the left, you can observe the copy number, for example, for if the sample collection was from colon or from a bone, etc. And then specifically for each of those, you can click on them and it will show you as well. Here you can obse observe the copy number uh, variation of those genes versus the expression of those genes. Um, the, on the right hand side of the of the um, on the window, you can observe uh, this this plot that I previously talked about a little bit. And uh, there are two ways to visualize the plot. The in this case we have the two density plot, but you can also see, see the individual uh, data points in in the plot. So you can see that that is pretty scarce, and uh, it it will be hard to correlate, but when you have a specific case, uh, when you are analyze, analyzing some data and you have like uh, some some specific case where uh, you can observe that, uh, for example, copy number, number variation is heavily related to gene expression, then you can actually see in, in a plot like this. Um, it's very interactive, so you can just click here, uh, change the gene, uh, select multiple samples, for example, and you will see all of those on the plot. You can also for example, let's change here to growth a pattern, um, and you can as well see the visualization. You can click here and see the scatter plot, and um, this visualization is really nice because you can actually see where the data is is highly concentrated. So in this case, is uh, let's say the CNV one with uh, an expression of three point one, uh, let's say. So you can you can actually observe that. Uh, so yeah, that will be all for now. I, I really think that this um, kind of shiny apps uh, provide a lot of information pretty quickly. Uh, this is something that a shiny always will provide. Uh, it can be, of course, connected with many open source packages. Um, the interactivity uh, and what you can see on this application can be specifically tailored for multiple needs, for other, for other needs, other type of visualizations. You can, for example, um, include uh, for each gene a visualization of um, the segment where is this gene located within the, the whole genome, for example, using Shiny Goslink, or you can actually see the 3D representation of the proteins that are encoded by those genes um, using, let's say, Shiny Molestar. So that will be all for now. Thank you for watching and have a good day.